You've heard the expression, dress for success. That could mean a lot of different things for a lot of people. A suit and tie, a stylish dress, or how about a flashy costume hand beaded with rhinestones? In this week's Going for the Gold, Jack Doles introduces you to an Olympian hopeful that adds a personal touch on the nice thanks to her hardworking mother. I've sewn uh, my entire life. The steady pulse of a sewing machine has long sparked a creative gene in Susan Hubble. She used to try and dress me in like ridiculous things, big dresses with 15 ruffles. Madison was resistant at first. I only had brothers and I was kind of a tomboy. I wanted to play with them and climb trees. And I look back now thinking like how stupid I was. Now 26, she embraces her mother's flair for fashion often competing in costumes designed and handmade by her mother. It is very special, and when I'm able to wear something that she's made, it's nice to take a piece of her out there on the ice with me. Susan has been making costumes for her daughter since she first started competing on skates. And if Madison makes the Olympic team with ice dance partner Zach Donahue, she'll perform in a dress made for this specific dance. What's that feel like to, to see her out there performing in your work? It's stressful. It can also be frustrating. Susan made this dress for Madison's short dance. It was hand beaded with some 10,000 rhinestones. It looked beautiful on her and everybody loved it. And then on the first event, when they actually saw it in motion, they thought it hid some of her movement. So they decided to change. And that happens all the time. What doesn't happen all the time is seeing your child compete on the Olympic stage. That'll be special no matter whose dress Madison wears. With this week's Going for the Gold Report, I'm Jack Doles. Ten on your side's Lex Gray is heading to the games this February. She will provide a unique perspective on the ground in Pyeongchang, South Korea.